Today's third test flight of the SpaceX mega rocket Starship achieved several key milestones. However, the spacecraft was lost as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere today. The world's most powerful rocket blasted off from Boca Chica Beach in South Texas this morning. The unmanned Starship traveled about halfway around the Earth during a nearly 50-minute flight. But the company said it lost contact with the spacecraft as it neared its goal of a splashdown in the Indian Ocean. Two test flights of Starship earlier this year ended with explosions just minutes after liftoff. So today's flight was considered a success by SpaceX and NASA. The goal is to use Starship eventually to land astronauts on the moon. And that should happen in the next few years. For more on what we learned from today's launch, we are joined here by Abhishek Tripathi, the Director of Mission Operations at UC Berkeley. Abhi, good to have you on. Always a pleasure. So how, how much of an achievement was today's Starship launch? Was this a win? Yes, it was most definitely when I always measure in terms of are they making good substantive progress or are they repeating mistakes? So this test clearly showed substantive progress. First and foremost, they were able to separate the booster stage cleanly from the upper stage, the Starship. Last time, as you may recall, right during separation is when the booster stage blew up. This time, they succeeded in what they call uh, a, a hot stage separation, um, and the two cleanly separated with the Starship making orbit. That's success number two. Last time, the Starship upper stage was not able to make orbit. It blew up. This time, it made it to space and completed its full duration burn before, upon reentry into Earth's atmosphere, burning up. So great progress, substantive progress, was made between the last attempt and this one. Yeah, and obviously with each of these test flights, you're, you're, you're trying to learn from what went wrong, and that's what SpaceX has been doing here. So how do you, you look at what happened here during reentry today and, and try to learn from that and, 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 and make sure that you have a successful splashdown next time around? Yeah, uh, typically what you do if you are a traditional aerospace company or even the government you do lots and lots of analysis until you were able to hopefully nail it on the first time. This time, because SpaceX's first stage actually survived separation and made it a good way down, it got a lot of data. And what they're going to do is they're going to take that data to improve the algorithms the flight computer runs in order to get a little bit more fine-tuning on the landing attempt. So I have a lot of confidence. They'll, they'll make a good solid attempt at a landing, if not a full landing on the next one. Yeah. Likewise, on the upper stage, actually, the picture you're showing right now is perfect. I did not realize this either, but we have never seen that sort of a plasma on a real live video before. Uh, the only reason we've been able to see it on this mission is because SpaceX is using its Starlink satellites to relay the video. Okay. So that in itself is amazing data. Yeah, just just to see those pictures. Obviously, we know here that the, the long term goal with all of these test flights is to be able to send humans, astronauts to the, the southern pole of the moon, hopefully by 2026. That's that's the goal that's been laid out here based on the progress that we have seen with these three test launches here. How does it seem like we are on track to reach that goal? I think today's test should give NASA a lot of confidence. However, with human spaceflight, you have a goal, you need a goal, but safety and precaution is first and foremost. NASA and SpaceX working together will have absolutely no qualms about delaying by months or even a year if they feel they don't have the safety data they need yet. But this type of goal, this ambitious goal of 2026 is needed to drive it forward. And remind us all of, of the significance of, of these test flights when it comes to the, this long-term sort of vision or notion of commercial space travel. What, what is the significance of these flights? Yeah, this rocket is an attempt to make a rocket as normal and conventional as an airliner. The, the way you measure success of the Starship is, can it be launched rapidly many, many times a week or month, and can it be pretty much fully reused. If yeah. it can do all that, it bends the cost curve.
Yeah, and so we'll see if, uh, if they get it back down with a successful uh, landing here the next go around. And certainly would seem like they are on their way. We appreciate the insight. As always, good to see you. Avi Tripathi, the Director of Mission Operations at UC Berkeley. Take care. Thank you. I mean,